Two images of newspaper clippings are being shared on social media platforms with the claim that the government of India is planning to end the insurance guarantee for depositors saving their money in banks. Reverse image search of these clippings revealed that these have been in circulation on social media since at least 2017. Clearer versions of these clippings show that both talk about the risks of depositors from the Financial Regulation and Deposit Insurance Bill 2017. The Government of India introduced this bill in the Lok Sabha on 10th August 2017. The Joint Committee of Parliament was asked to consult stakeholders on the provisions of the FRDI bill and was asked to submit its report on the last day of the budget session 2018. Following the introduction of the bill, several news websites published articles reporting that bail-in provision introduced in the FRDI bill empowers the proposed resolution corporation to cancel the liability owed by the bank or change the form of an existing liability to another security. An article published by The Hindu in November 2017 states, All of us are aware that money in a savings or fixed deposit account is a liability owed by the bank to its customer. The bank promises to repay the money when demanded by the customer. Since the customer has not taken any security from the bank when handing over his money, legally, the customer is an unsecured creditor of the bank. With a bail-in, the bank simply refuses repayment of a customer's money or instead issues securities such as preference shares with no guarantee of fixed dividends to a customer. This is in lieu of his deposits which are then used for recapitalization of the bank. All the articles on this issue reported that there will be no guarantee for the fixed deposit money because of the bail-in provision of the FRDI bill. On 7 December 2017, the Ministry of Finance issued a press release stating that the provisions in the bill were meant to protect the interests of depositors. A statement from the press release reads, The provisions contained in the FRDI bill, as introduced in the Parliament, do not modify present protections to the depositors adversely at all. They provide, rather, additional protections to the depositors in a more transparent manner. In another press statement released by the Ministry of Finance in January 2018, the government emphasized that it would provide 1 lakh rupees deposit insurance coverage as in the past. Following the widespread criticism of its controversial provisions, the government withdrew the FRDI bill in August 2018. The Lok Sabha website also shows the status of the bill as withdrawn. In February 2020, many news agencies reported a statement by the finance minister which read, We are working on the FRDI bill but not sure when it can get through the house. But in July 2020, the Ministry of Finance clarified that the government has not taken any decision to reintroduce the FRDI bill. In February 2020, the Deposit Insurance and Credit Guarantee Corporation raised the limit of insurance cover for depositors in insured banks from 1 lakh to 5 lakh rupees. A statement issued by the RBI on 4th February 2020 reads, With a view to providing a greater measure of protection to depositors in banks, the Deposit Insurance and Credit Guarantee Corporation, a wholly owned subsidiary of the Reserve Bank of India, has raised the limit of insurance cover for depositors in insured banks from the present level of 1 lakh to 5 lakh per depositor, with effect from 4th February 2020, with the approval of Government of India. As old news clippings related to the now withdrawn FRDI bill are being shared with the claim that the government is planning to end the deposit insurance guarantee, this post is misleading. When you come across a piece of news that seems too ridiculous to be true, don't leave things to doubt. Run searches on Google and Yandex and weigh out the true and false of the situation for yourself by looking at the facts. But first of all, before you hit that forward button, pause.